Where are you going? If you want to go to the library, <laughs> it's right here if you want to go inside. He says he wants to do some research on drains and plumbing. Oh, hi. Is that my toilet's broke? Friends. Hello, our friends. Today we're at the library and we're going to be drawing some animals. Yes, be quiet, guys. Are you still filming? Hmm? Oh, okay. <clears throat> I thought you were shutting me up. <laughs> <laughs> so we're just gonna look for a few books first to try and see. We're gonna see if we can find anything in here to do with animals. <laughs> Ooh, four steps to lower my cholesterol. That might not be the book we need for today. I'm checking that one out later. <laughs> <laughs> That's not an animal. <laughs> Ten million aliens. <laughs> you know guys, we did our very first doodle date in this very same library. Mm. And I think I actually picked up that book. I thought it seemed familiar. No joke, yeah, I was like, where have I seen that before? I don't know. The dog bag. Drop me dog. Okay, we've got dogs, they're definitely animals. Do we pick the spider bag? Ooh. Whoa. Whoa. I'll spare you guys if you're scared <laughs> of spiders. How about the frozen planet one? There's polar bears and penguins and stuff in that one. Yeah, I guess. Oh, that's quite a big one, yeah, be careful. So we've got dogs, like Arctic life. What about Nick Baker's bug bug? Well, Nick Baker looks like a pretty trustworthy guy. Maybe we should, uh... Oh, there's a hedgehog. The rest of it's a lot of bees, though. He's just got, like, a really big section on bees to pad it out. There's a lot of ones on, like, British birds. Okay, birds seem good. <laughs> you guys have been asking for British birds for... I can't remember how long, so... That one's got quite a few nice little ones in. Ooh, yeah, we could be on something yeah. in there. Okay. Dogs, birds, and like Arctic things. That's quite a. That's quite a big range. I was really hoping to find like an animal encyclopedia, but you know. But the library doesn't have one. Dogs, birds, and frozen animals. We'll make our own encyclopedia. <laughs> You've been putting the books down quietly. <laughs> oh, okay. I forgot. Can you explain to me why there's a really big hole in this table? It's <laughs> pretty fingering. <laughs> Okay guys, so the plan is, what we're going to do is we're going to pick a book, but the twist is right, I am going to flick through the pages, and whichever one it lands on, you have to mm -hmm. draw it. Okay. Can you deal with that? Okay. So you're going to do that? Yeah, oh, I'll try and do it one-handed here. Oh, I need to get a good... There we go. You ready? I want to see what you're doing, okay. <laughs> what a handsome chap. So you want me to draw this dog? What's he called? Celium Terrier? Celium Terrier? Sounds like an element you'd find on the periodic table. Well, since I'm using this pack... It's full of celium. I'm going to give you a bird to draw. Oh no. I didn't agree to this. <laughs> Tree Sparrow. Oh, I like sparrows, okay. <laughs> so that's mine. Hey honey. Do you know how you put together a yellow fence? No. With a yellow hammer. <laughs> so weird. That took you too long. The comedic timing has ended. <laughs> okay, so I guess it's time for me to draw this dog. His nose. And he has some kind of like a little beard thing. Okay. He's also got a lot of fuzz on his head though. He's got a bit of a Bob Ross going on on top of his head. Tail. And his legs are really stubby. It's like, where are they? <laughs> it kind of looks like they stuck a dog's head on a sheep's body. Yeah, he does. And they give him like a little plasticine poop tail. He does have a weird little nubby tail. I didn't see it, by the way. <laughs> I don't think he's been in it yet. No. I've lost my sparrow pitch. <laughs> oh no. Oh, no. <laughs> Let's just refer to the index. <laughs> It was called a tree sparrow, right? Oh, you weren't joking. <laughs> this is what we used to do before Google was around. <laughs> back in my day. <laughs> Boozy. Tit, bearded. Thrushes. Oh dear, this is a bird book, isn't it? <laughs> I'll tree give you sparrow. a minute. Oh, wait. Page 87. Have you figured it out? Yeah, I think. And that's why we don't rely on search engines. Now, the tree sparrow, mm -hmm. or as they say in Latin, passa mountain, mountai, mount, montanus. That's what it says, passa montanus. Um, it's kind of shaped like a jelly bean, right? Right. 
with a little with a little tail sticking out the end. So that's the kind of shape I'm going to go with. So it's kind of like this, and he comes out. And he's got a beautiful round head. That's a very nice jelly bean shirt. Yeah, but again, right? I get, when I very first started drawing, uh, I couldn't do shape. I couldn't really draw anything when you very first started teaching me, and Steph was super patient with me. And this was one of the first exercises that you ever taught me. It was uh, trying to break things down into shapes, and it helps with like everything, <laughs> not just animals, but seriously, guys. It, it, I'm getting with the tail a little bit, and his wings overlap here. So when you've got the basic shape sort of going, you can just sort of add all these other little bits as you go along, and before you know it, you've got you got a bit of a, a tree sparrow going on. And then guys, because it looks kind of re like realism right now, but because you've got the basic shape, you can then go in and... Uh, Give him like a big cartoon like in the eye. Like exaggerate stuff, like give him a really like... <laughs> it, it does feel so nostalgic being it here again though. Because our first doodle day, we didn't even talk. Yeah, we didn't. I guess it's because it's a library, but we're kind of nervous. <laughs> you never shut up now. <laughs> put me on mute. <laughs> Don't put me on mute, please. I'm trying to give you good advice. <laughs> please don't go and then you can kind of just go in with all your detail -y bits Aww. if we erase his bum because you can't see his bum from this angle you've drawn that so much faster i haven't even done anything else with my weird dog yet that's the thing if you can get really good at identifying shapes and things you can draw so many things so quickly as well shapes are like amazing so what have you got for your little doggy big nose <laughs> he does have quite the, uh, the schnout. I have a feeling it might look weird when I'm done drawing it, but just because the dog itself... If I was going to draw like a human on it, a human version of him, he'd be like an old guy with like a handlebar moustache. <laughs> Can you see it? He does have a lot of facial hair going on. Yeah, he's got that beautiful afro up top. His head looks so small to the rest of him, but that's true to his breed by the looks of it. <laughs> I have you know I'm a thoroughbred and my head's tiny for a reason. <laughs> you can't get the poop tail. It's a little tiny for the legs. They do look like right little stumps, don't they? Let, guys, let me know if you actually own or have owned one of these dogs. Are they real? Are they real? <laughs> <laughs> it's not a library, so it seems pretty legit. Great Photoshop, bro. Kind of looks like he's got a lot of. Uh, I was going to say, they kind of look like tentacle udders. Now I'm using very limited supplies in my pencil case. Ooh. If you've seen my pencil case video, you know what's in here. And I fancied lining this with like a brush, so I'm using this ink wash. It's kind of difficult to get thin lines with it because the brush is quite thick. Ooh. But you can get some very nice line variations. Oh, there it goes, yeah. I'll make sure you get some nice variation on this stump. I promise I'll try and pick you a cute thing next. <laughs> promise. Does he look cute? He kind of looks like that uncle that you don't visit. <laughs> Everyone's got an uncle that they don't visit. It's like it's Uncle Ruford. <laughs> Ruford? He wants you to milk his tentacles again. I can't even see what his feet look like. They're just little hairy. <laughs> it's like little stumps. <laughs> Oh, there you go, yeah, that works well. He doesn't have paws, he's just all hair. <laughs> he knows it's looking really cute. And blending the, blend the beak. And these all little branch details that you've put in. Yeah, he hasn't been struck by lightning, it's branches <laughs> there. <laughs> There's totally branches back there that look really cute, so... I wanted to try it myself, but it, does, it just looks really quite alarmed he's been struck by lightning. I'm going to try and do some of his dark bits around his eyes. Yeah, because birds have quite unique markings on them. That's how you can make them look different from one another. That's true. I'm not very good at drawing birds, though. <laughs> well, you've got all the basic shapes, and now it's just putting See, that, in his details. See, that's the thing, guys. You can kind of cheat so easily. If you get the basic shape down, so anyone can be like, oh, that's a dog, or oh, that's a cat. <laughs> if you've got the shape right, you can kind of make most of it up. That's what I do. <laughs> oh, he's got a bit of a dark chest. Got to get that chest hair in. <laughs> and the rest of the bits are kind of kind of gradient into dark and it's kind of weird to to show 
with something kind of like this. Are you ready to pick another animal? Yeah, time to pick another one. <laughs> Sorry, I chose like tentacle dog. I'll try and pick a better one this time. I'm gonna pick you one from this <gasps> book. The Frozen Planet book, okay. So this is me, right? Yeah, this is for you. Oh jeez. Oh, well that's not an animal, that's a flower. Oh, is that a flower? Okay, we'll let you off. <laughs> Shall it's I? One of those owls with, you know, we oh saw my God. them once before. Yeah, we went to a zoo. Not well, quite a while ago yeah, now, and they had one. It have like really big circular. It looks like face. someone's just like caved its poor face in. What a beautiful concave head you have. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna pick you one now. <laughs> you haven't given me a lot to go with. <laughs> got a very beautiful side profile. It's got a very moist beak. I don't know what he's been doing. I think the first half are where like the birds are. Like. Congratulations, you have to draw every bird on her. <laughs> <laughs> That might be hard. I'll try it a little bit earlier. Oh. You get to pick which one then. <laughs> Wheat ear. <laughs> I think that he looks cool in that pose. He's, he's giving you like the look over the shoulder. He looks like he knows. He knows he's good looking. <laughs> so you get to draw the wheat ear. Oh, okay. You're gonna squeeze him on the... Oh. I didn't really plan mine ahead very well. I might have to use a different page on mine. I wonder if I've got enough space to put him in. Make sure you get his beautiful looking over the shoulder pose in. <laughs> yeah. I like that pose. I am beautiful. What a cute little bird. I might have him looking up at that dog. Can we call him Wilfred? <laughs> Wilfred Wheat Ear. <laughs> the Wheat Ear. Should we put like wheat in his ears? Like I do say, <laughs> Pooch, your tentacles look like they need a milking. I'm just reading about him. He has. He's apparently one of the most well-insulated birds, so he knows how to keep cosy. <laughs> and he has acute binocular vision. You'd think so with like massive domes like those, wouldn't you? <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's try and draw him, shall we? I haven't got much to go on with the shape. <laughs> he kind of looks like a thumb. <laughs> yeah, I don't. You You've could probably idea, draw guys. one on your thumb. <laughs> he, he's kind of thumb-shaped, guys. Like, again, going with shapes, he kind of looks like a thumb. And this bit looks like the thumbnail. Right. So if we can go off something like that. <laughs> you might just turn into like a weird thumb bird, but we could try. Oh, I love that. Look at that. He's got like a right little feather goatee going on. Look yeah, at that. it does kind of have like a little beard. Ooh. Give some kind of indication there. <laughs> you really have drawn like a thumbnail. <laughs> it's, a, a it's a thumb. <laughs> so that, that's what it looks like to me. He looks like a big thumb bird. <laughs> Again, I'm stylizing it a little bit but that's all part of the fun now <laughs> do you even like really sharp like <laughs> okay the other one was really cute so this guy can be like Ooh. he's just seen the other bird get struck by lightning so he's like oh my god how's wheat ear doing i want to try add some of his color in because i think that's a big part of what makes him look like his species his colors are really nice like what's the color of his his body, like this black white. There's but... like a blue to it, but I've already got like highlighter blue, so he's gonna be done with highlighters, I reckon. I'm just putting in this for his darker little details. You use a brush pen way more confidently than I do. It's only because I use them all the time. You use pencils way more confidently than I do. Yeah, the good thing about those though is you can erase them. But what a beautiful little bird friend. That looks like something you'd see in like a, maybe a kid's book or something. I really like the style that that's in. Can we have a look? <laughs> Are you ready for his face reveal? <laughs> yeah. Oh wow, he looks very concerned. <laughs> I like all the details that you put in. It looks a lot more like the reference. I hope so, because that's kind of what I was going for. <laughs> Please pick me an easy dog to do. It's a poodle date. Poodle date. <laughs> wow. What a specimen. You ready to have a, a a frozen planet animal? Yeah, but pick me one different to what you've had. Oh, okay. You ready? Okay. Can um, I pick that you one? You picked the same page. Okay. We'll try again. <laughs> oh my god. Whoa. This is weird. We're so similar. <laughs> Hey, ooh. 
are those penguins? <laughs> those are some dirty penguins. <laughs> Look at the mullet on that one. <laughs> Your mullet dope. <laughs> Look at my mullet. I hope okay. they're okay. That is quite the hairdo. Can you draw him? No, I have to draw one of these. Draw Bruce. <laughs> Why is he Bruce? Because he's got a really nice mullet. <laughs> I think Bruce is in that picture too. Another good thing, guys, is that poodles are basically shapes. The butt is a circle. <laughs> The legs are like tube rectangle things. That's a circle. <laughs> Those are like triangles. Super shapely. Super shaped dog. I'm jealous. I want to draw that poodle. How's that dirty penguin come? <laughs> Bruce, is that you? I've drawn the strange little hairdo. I'm putting his facial markings in. Oh, damn! I don't know how, like, accurate this picture is as a whole to nature because I don't think you'd see a penguin next to the thing in this Hanging dog. out with Wheat here and Alien Dog. <laughs> I think it's awesome. I think, I think all the ones we've done are really cute. Oh, that's looking really good. But do you like it? <laughs> it's really? got such a sassy poodle face. That's it, that's why I associate all poodles with, like seriously, like. <laughs> look, look at that face. It's like, oh, you know you want me. <laughs> I am all that in a bag of chips. I'd roll around in the mud with it and then we'd become friends. If you're looking for someone to roll around in the mud with. <laughs> Go with Bruce. <laughs> Doesn't he look like fun? <laughs> it looks like he's done a load of poos. <laughs> Stop it. He's like, it was the wheat here, not me. <laughs> it's, like a, it's like a mystery. It's like this fall. Poo done it. I wish he'd like pick that one. Don't you think he kind of looks like Mr. Burns? <laughs> He has an evil name as well. Heron, patient killer of the marshes. He's just like, it's like, excellent. <laughs> <laughs> if you guys want to see us drawing some of our animals in videos, we've mm. got an entire playlist. We'll put stuff it like that, somewhere here for you we'll to watch, here. guys. And subscribe if you enjoyed the video as well. And we'll click the little notification bell. Yeah, click it, it's down there somewhere. <laughs> Make sure you rig it so I can hear it. And here's the finished artwork. <laughs> Yours are on a few pages. <laughs> oh, yeah. Sparrow. <laughs> Oh no. Doodle day. Doodle day.